paper lovers, it's Sarah, and today we're going to be making a card using the adorable bumblebee from the teddy bear parade cartridge. So we're going to be creating a cute little scene on our card today. I'm starting with a card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. My yellow mat is five and three eighths by four and one eighths, and my blue mat is five and one eighths by three and seven eighths. Let's see, I'm going to start with this piece of grass here, and I cut this grass from the Paper Doll Dress Up cartridge, it's on page 78, and I cut it at 1.25. These are all going to be gypsy sizes, I use my gypsy for everything, so anytime I give you a size, it's from my gypsy. And the grass is going to go right, right along the bottom of our card. like that. And I can trim off the excess that hangs off. Okay, now I'm going to lay some stuff out first before I start adhering it down. So I have to um, lay it out first so I know where to put my sentiment. Okay. First of all, I took this tree trunk, and this is from the Create a Critter cartridge. I sized it at 7.8. Um, I basically just want a, a little tiny bit of the trunk on my card. So I kind of have already laid out the branch that I'm going to show you in a minute, and then I cut off the trunk that I didn't need. So it's going to just kind of be like that, if that makes sense. I cut a branch from the straight from the nest cartridge, and I don't think I told you where this this tree trunk was from. Create a critter on page sixty-eight. My uh, branch from straight from the nest is cut at one point five, and it's on page forty-two, and it's going to become part of my trunk. Whoops! And it's going to kind of go like something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring in my B. The B is cut at 2.5, and I didn't use any of the accessories. I think it's holding a flower, and I didn't put the wings on it. It just wasn't looking right on this particular card, so I just left the wings off. So I'm just going to kind of set this down. I think that's where it's going to go. And I've got some grass layers that I'm going to add, but let me grab my sentiment. I'm using a sentiment, oops, that's the wrong set, <clears throat> from the Scrappy Mom set Critter Crazy. I love the sentiments that Scrappy Moms have that are related to animals. They're so darn cute. And I'm going to be using this Your Unbelievable. This will make a great thank you card or friendship card. You know, just letting somebody know you're thinking about them or if somebody did something really nice for you and you want to tell them that they're unbelievable. I'm going to be using uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And my sentiment. You know what? I got a lot of ink on the... Um, stamp where I didn't want it. I'm going to clean this off real quick and start over because I don't, I'm just, I'm stamping this directly onto my card so I don't want any ink to get where it's not supposed to be. <sighs> let me dry this off a little bit. <sighs> okay, let me try that again. Oh, I just pressed too hard when I was stamping at my, or inking at my stamp. It's making me a little nervous. Okay, it's going to go right about here. Perfect! Okay, now let's see. I'm going to go ahead and adhere down my trunk first. So I'm just going to put some ATG just along the part that I'm going to use. And then I'll just put a little bit of uh, glue right on this part of the branch that I'm keeping. Um, 
I'm not going to press that down yet because I forgot I'm going to add some clouds. And I think yeah, that'll be okay. These clouds I punched from the Fiskars Large Cloud Punch. My crafty friend Sylvia sent me that a while back. And it's, if you saw my top 20 favorite paper crafting tools, that made the cut. I love that punch and I use it all the time. Because if you're new to my YouTube channel, I love to make scenes on cards. So I punched three, and then this one I went ahead and stuck on some foam squares, and I want this one to pop up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press this down now, that's where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere my little branch. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my bear down, and I did put him on some foam squares too. I love this bumblebee. It's so cute. You know what? I'm not going to press him down either because I forgot I'm going to add some grass and stuff. Um, I've cut some different shape, I mean different size grass. Where do my tweezers go? Right here. And these are on the Create a Critter cartridge. They are both found on the same page, which is page 45. And let me see if I can figure this out. I, it looks like I cut two at this size, which is one inch. And then I cut one of these at 1.5, and then I cut this one at one inch. And I'm just going to add these to my card just to add a little bit of... Um, you know, layers and textures. And when I'm adhering grass like this, I like to leave the tops with no adhesive. Just kind of gives it a fun little, more realistic look. And then the other two pieces. Yeah, I need to pick my bear up. Okay, now I can go ahead and stick my bear down. Right about like that. If I can get them straight. There we go. Okay, now I've cut some little flowers and, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and trim this off. Um, I cut little flowers from a couple different punches. Oh, that looks so cute. We're going to see a little bit of the tree. Um, I use this little tiny punch that I have. I got this a while ago in the dollar section at Michael's. Oh, I just chipped my nail polish. And the other one I used was this Martha Stewart flower border punch. I just punched out and... Um, different colors of cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and start hearing these down. I used um, pink, purple, and yellow. Okay, so I've just added a few little flowers. I might add more later. I don't know. We'll see. And then um, I have, and I don't think... I wrote this down, so I will put it up on the screen in the video. But I cut this little beehive. It is from Create a Critter, um, but I forgot to write down the size and the page, so I'll stick that on there. And I just I taped a little piece of this black and white, I believe it's called charcoal, uh, twine on the back, and then I have a foam square on there. And this is just going to hang down from my little tree like that and I'm just gonna add this little um, 
bow. Let me grab my Scotch um, quick dry adhesive. Okay, and then almost finished. I have these little stickers. I've showed these before. They're made by um, EK Success. And I got them at Walmart, and they're only a dollar. And I really love these little bumblebees. So I'm going to add some bumblebees. Just kind of flying around. <laughs> They're so cute. Flying around the beehive. And um, maybe like right here around the flowers. Oh my gosh. These little bees just make this card. So cute. I wish they sold just the bees. I'm probably going to add um, some stickles to my little bumblebee, I mean my bear, my bee bear, I'm not sure. And then I'm also going to add some of these little tiny, whoa, where did it go? Clear rhinestones to the center of my flowers. So you'll see all that um, in the picture at the end of the video. But oh my goodness, that turned out so cute. I love it. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could stamp the inside with thank you or something like that or a little friendship sentiment. But that's my card for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a blessed day.